How you all doing? Glad you could join me live. My name is PJ from Addicted to Grow. <laughs> Welcome. How you all doing? My name is PJ from Addicted to Grow, and I'm glad that you could join me. There's a couple of cameras sitting in front of me, but it's obviously getting closer to lockdown. It literally is irrelevant. The lockdown is irrelevant. I just want to share with you, and that's also irrelevant. This is not the first time in history that this type of thing has shocked the world. It just shows the extreme capabilities of the internet in this day and age. We could talk about the Black Plague. We could talk about Ebola. We could talk about so many other diseases that have come out before or viruses that have just not taken people out. But what socialising? This is purely only because of social media. I mean, here's a perfect example. I, I just want to share with you, I've got one camera up there that's dedicated to the Facebook group. There's one camera in front of me that is my normal page. There's YouTube Live in front of me. There's a Zoom call in front of me on this computer. And then there's also my Instagram here. Hey, Semper. And what, what, I want to, what I purely want to share with you is this. And socialising is continuously evolving. It always has. There is not an end game to this. There is no end game. This has happened before, just with different causes. The main thing that you want to walk away from all of this is knowing that you've evolved and you've got through it. And there's light at the end of the tunnel. And it's completely your choice if you see it or not. So to keep, to keep the morale high, the last two sessions I spoke about making scheduled calls, making scheduled Zooms, um, talking to friends often, and then obviously spending time with your, with your family and making sure that you're open-hearted and communicating with your family more often. So when you're looking at the infinite game, it's continuously evolving. This was going to happen at some stage. We don't know it, but it was going to happen and things were going to change. Point number two. Correct me if I'm wrong. The internet was open in 1999. Is that right? If someone's got the internet, if someone's, if someone could Google that while we're here, the internet came alive in 1999. I remember that I was in year, uh, probably it was actually probably earlier than that. We were in year 11, year 10 in 1998. 1998 is when the internet came out, and obviously in 1999. I spoke about, I spoke and my speech was about how internet was going to take over our lives. Now, it's not that it hasn't taken over our lives in a bad way. What's happened is it's taken over our lives and there is sleep for 10 years. We're behind. He also talks about this. I, I just love this point that he made and I'm going to share it completely with this. It's not that you're, it's not that he talks about being ahead or behind. He doesn't talk about having a good day or a bad day. He talks about today, I, it was a behind day. I may not have got everything I wanted to get done. And if you, if we, if we start evolving the way we do all my work, yes, this weekend I'm free. It's, it's about evolution. Now is the time for us to innovate ourselves and change. Working from home is the ideal lifestyle. We have been saying this for years. The people that are certain about their jobs are the ones that are already working from home. Yes, we understand there's luxuries out there and yes, we understand that there are businesses that can't per se work from home, can't or won't or choose not to. Well, this is now forcing us to think about how we can evolve and maybe set up practice at home. What are the legalities? Insurance is gonna change. We, we can see it happening. But the best part about this, where would we be now? But we do, we have the internet. So everything that we have, everything that we can do is figure outable. If you watch, if you read the book, um, Everything is Figure Outable by Marie Felio, she talks about everything is figure outable. Look around you, look around you right now, the chair that you're sitting on, the gym that's behind me, the studio, the floor, the, all of my equipment, it was made by man or, or woman. And, and then man, woman made machine to make it. Everything is figure outable. So this time right now, it's not 
It's not the worst time in the world. It's actually the best time to start evolving your business. So working from home is the ideal lifestyle. So many people talk about this laptop lifestyle. If we were allowed to travel right now, and those of you um, that have already evolved your business to online, you could go to your holiday house, wherever it may be, and you could work right there. Dip your feet in the, in the, in the ocean right now and still work from there. It is the ideal lifestyle. If you're going to evolve a business and get paid for it and be it online, great. If you have a trade that is not yet online, hairdressers, I feel for them right now. My cousin, you know this, my cousin, not by blood, but by pure love, my cousin, her shop's closed. A restaurant, Paragon, I spoke about this last Thursday night, closed. These guys hold a massive place in my heart. They're closed. Beautiful restaurant to go and eat. Now, would we call that a luxury? Well, not really. Shop's been open for nearly 80 years. But for some people, those type of things are luxury. So is there going to be this evolution now that we're going to have to change the way we do business? Yes, we have to. It is imperative that we now need to pass. But in saying that, what are we doing to then get our stuff online? What are we doing? And here's a little tip. Like if you're a, if you're a hairdresser or, uh, no, actually, let's use Uber Eats in Sydney and, and in most metropolitan areas. It's still happening. If, if we had Uber Eats in Goulburn, if we had delivery drivers in Goulburn, I can guarantee you they'd just have a mask on, they'd be making the food, they'd be delivering food. Who would love that right now? Literally, it's a – Red Rooster's got delivery. McDonald's will surely come out with delivery after this. Things are going to change rapidly, but it's up to us to implement that. And this is the best part. This is point number four. Right now, right now, whether you like it or not, and this is the best part, we have literally been forced that the fundamentals of life are coming back. They've always been there. Patience, happiness, kindness, love, gratitude, even attitude, sharing, communication. They're not closed. This is, it is literally right now is such an amazing time to, to tune in to your fundamentals. You're spending every day at home with your kids and your wife or your partners. That is going to test you. I am not going to lie about it. Face the facts now. It's going to test you. But the best thing is they are the fundamentals. They are literally the fundamentals that are the best things in life and they are free. And if you're doing that, if you're enjoying home life right now, then put your hand up and go a million miles an hour and do some more. If you are lucky enough to, to have a business that you can work from home, hooray. This is the best time to be alive. You're at home, surrounded by the people that you love. An amazing time right now, even though it's difficult. It is difficult. I'm not going to lie about it. It's difficult. I go from, I go from here to my house and then back again. But the people that I get to connect with and do personal training with or I do mental health coaching with, they absolutely love it. They love it because they're not missing out. They're just like, you know what? If the internet is what we've got, well, then we're doing it. And I say, yes, it is. It's the best thing, seeing someone else's face light up because I am choosing with certainty to keep delivering my service. I am not going to stop. You know what? One of the things that's going to evolve, one of the things that's going to evolve, I purely wanted to be on stages by the end of this year. And I was talking to some people that weren't promising it, but they're just saying, PJ, you keep doing what you're doing and you're going to get there. We know it. And guess what? If this is now going to be more of what's going on and congregating in such large events is going to change, well, maybe it's a time now that I need to evolve the way that I'm going to get my message across and having four devices in five devices in front of me doing it, maybe that's the way. Life is about change. It always has been. 
And I understand that change is hard. I understand psychology. I understand that the patterns that you'll shower, read 10 pages of a good book, write down the top five things you want to do that day, eat an apple a day, make the bed, turn your phone off half an hour before bedtime, play a board game with the kids, play an instrument and then scare someone. So tomorrow, I'm going to make a new one. And I'm going to make another one for the rest of the year. Purely because it's something that lights me up that I want to share with you guys. So business is always evolving. Life has always been evolving. And the best thing now is that we can literally turn around and say the fundamentals are coming back. Sharing a hug with a family member is more important than just skipping a phone call. Or I'd rather skip the phone call. Telstra. Message Brand was brought into this world so that that person could leave you a message and you could answer the phone and the message when you choose to. Let's go back to that. Let's go back to that. It's happening. You're being forced to. Because if I'm making lunch, if I'm making lunch for my children, I'm not going to pick up my phone. I've got Message Bank. Times, times, the world is happening for us. If you are sitting there right now, I want you to give me a huge thumbs up if you think that the world is happening for us. And if you think that it's happening to us, I'd love to just have a conversation with you and help you change the way you think. Because currently the world is cleaning itself. The world is cleaning itself. The fire is cleaned up. And all due respect to the people, and God bless the people that we lost, and also the people that lost their houses and so on. But the fire is cleaned up. And then the floods, we just need to go back through history to understand that that happened. This is the one thing I want to finish up with. Right, I've got 30 seconds left because I want to strictly clip this to 15 minutes. Every every, I'm going to be back on Tuesday, right? Fear is a liability that you need to create courage, and courage is an asset, and an asset, courage turns to certainty. I'm going to say that again. Fear is a liability. And you will fall faster than fear than anything else before. Money is a liability. It's only an option. It's just an energy source. But you need fear to create courage. And that courage turns into certainty. Or really, courage turns into confidence. Confidence turns into certainty. And if you're certain in this time right now, your business will boom. I really appreciate all of you tuning in. I hope that you like, comment, and share this with the people that didn't jump on. This is an extremely important time in our lives that we will remember what changed the direction of our the way we live, the way we work, and the way we socialize. So we just got to jump on here. And if you've got a message to share, jump on your jump on your social media. Share this. We will all remember this together. Addicted to Grow is not my brand, it's our brand. Anyone that wants to be addicted to grow, then start doing it. Addicted to Grow is about everyone. It's going to be the worldwide phrase of personal development. Everyone's going to be addicted to growing after this. I can tell you. I can assure you. I hope everyone has a great Saturday night. Tune in Tuesday night, 8.30, same time, same place. Tuesday night, I'll have a new topic. I'll do some more research. I'm going to go and listen to more of the, you know, the Gary V's, the, the Tony Robbins, Simon Sinek. There's so many other guys that I love listening to all their material. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Um, obviously, if I wasn't watching this screen, I was watching that one and this one and this one, but... I'm addicted.